Well, I'll cover ten friends. What are y'all up to? It's Saturday. I hope y'all are doing something fun. Mama's got me on the chore wagon today. We're out here in the garage. And Mama, I'm going to turn the camera left that you tell them a little bit about what you're doing. Oh, wow. No, I look like a hobo. Look at that. That's peanut beans. Oh, wow. That's the vines that we've already picked. And uh, here, let me pull you up, Mama. Oh. Tell them about it, Mama. I look like a bun. I look like a bun. <laughs> yeah, you look like a bun. You look cute as a button. So here is the vines. Look at there. This is peanut beans. Instead of picking them off. This is the reason people don't fool with peanut beans, to be honest. They are little and slow. They're a bush bean. They're not a vine growing bean. Look here. This is what you get. And they're little. And it takes forever to get a mess, as you call it. And this is what they look like. So mom's pulled up all the vines. This is what these are. This is my first two rows. I was gonna pick them, but the vines were so dry and they ain't got so much rain. There they they're are. They're turning yellow and stuff. And I see they're not that big. These are heirloom beans and they're a bush bean. Here's how they grow on them. And see how the vines are getting yellow. So mama knows ain't nothing else coming on these. They, they fit it rain sooner before. It did, it might have perked them up some. But. So here's a wheelbarrow full of peanut beans. And we're just sitting here picking them off. Um, and we're gonna put them in this big old Tupperware bowl. This is our old microwave in case you want this fancy black table. <laughs> That's the old microwave that had the hole in it. Uh, it's not made it to the He's not dump out. yet, and what I'm afraid of, if I take it to the dump, somebody might get it, plug it in, and go, hey, this works. I don't really know what. He's to do. gonna take it, do something with it, Johnny, as well. Oh, so mom's got somebody lined up to do something yeah, with it. Yeah, he's gonna take it till it'll be not be used. Not be used. And stuff. Okay, good. That's yeah, what I was worried about. Take it. So he's gonna take it out for you. Oh, yeah, he's gonna take All it. All right. Well, thank you, John. So this is the peanut beans. Look at this. This is a whole ah. wheelbarrow full. And so when we put these on the table, and you think, gosh, where'd those come from? This is it. And this is why a lot of people don't like them. Everybody likes, well, I guess everybody likes the flavor of them. But look here. This is a typical crop. This is typical what you get a hold of. These little beans on here. And look here. Some of them are that size, and some of them are bigger. Um, underneath that, there's prettier ones here. Yeah, there's some pretty ones. This is the very end. But this is what you get. And we've been picking here for a few minutes and they don't have a whole bunch. You can get rattlesnake beans and you can get, what's some other there's mama? Roma beans. Roma. And they'll, you can just grab them off of a handful and have a whole cannon. Uh, mama, you're going to have enough to can all this mess, you think? I, you know? I hope so. I'm going to can in pints. Because we don't eat more than a pint. Uh, if it's just us here, we just need a pint. And if we need more, I've got quarts left, or I can open up two pints. Right. So I think I'll save more beans in the long run. It's a little costier. I can them that way, I'm kind of use more lids. But in the long run, I think I'll save money. So, money, yeah. Well, I am picking them off with one hand because I stop I'll get in trouble. <laughs> it's a joke. You like It's it. fun. You like We it. used to always just pick them off and sit and talk and tell old stuff. And, and break them. And do the same thing when we break them. Now I'll try to help mama break them but that won't work out well. I already know. She acts like she can't remember but I know. So she'll say you're leaving. You're the, that ain't right. Here just let me do them. So I'll, I'll string them and hand them to her to break and uh and she'll fuss a lot less but when, when it, it we won't were, work out well with it mama no when we were kids daddy would strain them and look at them and lay them over in our pans for us to break mommy just say watch the spots and get it all off but daddy he didn't Trust, Trust us kids, so he would. And I think maybe you're a lot like your daddy. I guess I <laughs> He would. Sorry for the camera action, but I'm just trying to work uh, and not get myself in trouble. He would break them. Now, here's a vine that's got some pretty beans on it, big mm -hmm. ones. Those are pretty, Mama. Yeah, they're pretty. 
And they're green. Some people want to know, are they red? Are they green? Are they red? Half rounders right here. This is a red one. This is off the same vines. Uh, if they turn red, you'll have to shell them. It makes more shelly beans. I don't hardly like for them to get this red, but where I was gone that week, it... Uh, and they weren't ready. They weren't ready when I left. But and they, they weren't ready while you was gone. But they're they still not ready. Red, several of them have. They're still I not ready. The if they were ready, you wouldn't have this going on. I would have picked a, See how little and flat those are? The big ones. You would have to pick them two or three times. Yeah, you? I would pick, went through and picked the biggest ones. It was big and full and maybe start to turn the least big paint. Well, now, I never did say I was a gardener. I had to have somebody else check them to even see if I should pick them. And they said, well, some of them are ready and some of them ain't. So, oh mercy, she's chattering. Alex is chattering today. She won't hush. Okay. So this is this is the day's activity, going through vines and vines of peanut beans. This is the two rows. You remember when we was down there putting boxes over them so they wouldn't freeze out? Well, this is they. This is the very ones. They didn't freeze out, as you can see. But you see all the yellow ones? They they got a lot of rain. A lot of rain. Well, and they didn't get any for a few weeks much, yeah. and then they got way too much. In one time. Mm -hmm. And they got no sunshine all week. So, that's what's happening when you're up to nature for your crops. you got to take what you get and get what you take. I'm thankful. Hi, y'all. Y'all put the whole vines up. Yeah, we pulled the whole vines up. You can get a second picking off from them if the vines are in excellent condition, can't you, Mama? Oh, yeah. These was just yellowy, and I figured it ain't worth me bending over picking them because I don't think the vines will come back out that good. They might have produced a few more little ones, but not enough to make a mess. To pick them. Bend over and pick all of them. This is so much easier. You just reach down, pull up handfuls of vines. Well, I'm them. glad I didn't pick them last week because I wouldn't have pulled them up. I wouldn't have known that was an option. It's not for you because you don't know. <laughs> See what I deal with, folks? You're always on a fine line on whether what you should do or shouldn't do because whatever you do, there's going to be a negative to it. Right, Mama? Oh, yeah. And I told them the other night, I said, if I pick these, I showed them to them. I said, if I pick these early, she's going to say, well, thanks for picking the beans, but they could have gone another day or two. I said, and then if I don't pick them or check them, she's going to say, well, you let my beans go bad while I was gone. <laughs> you can't win for losing around me. That's right, Mama. You're strict. I think it's so fun to do beans. Angela Britt. It is, anything you do, you can make fun, you can enjoy, and just have a good time. Oh. Ah. You got, you threw one away before you picked it out? No, I picked them off and then threw them away. You throw the loose beans in that pile of... Oh, yeah. You know. Well, they're in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. When you get old, you make mistakes. Over here's the bow, Mama. Blue Tupperware bow. This is what these big old bows are good for, folks. You think, what on earth? That would be too much potato salad. These bows are wonderful for beans, garden stuff, picking and bringing in. They're just wonderful. Father. Are you going to go there and look for them beans? I sure am. I'm not wasting them beans. Mama. After I picked them. And then, you should just be. Right here well, you slung them hard, I'm sure. That's right here on top. Okay. I think I got them all. Okay. I ain't wasting them beans. Too much work went into them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy. Well, folks, I better get off from here and get back to my chores and get this beans oh, picked. Oh, goofy, well, if you do, Mama, I'll, we'll tell them about it later. No, we won't tell them about it. Oh, my goodness. I will, Mama. Uh, you probably will. Let's, let's see if y'all have any questions while Mama's here to answer them. I have done that before. Throw away food and keep 
Vine. <laughs> Daisy Dan. Nancy says, I love snap beans. Cynthia says, what is the name of the cooker that y'all use in the microwave? Well, Cynthia, we use a lot of cookers. We have a stack cooker, uh, and it's uh, the teal blue one, but there are different colors of them, and it stacks up, and um, you cook a whole meal at one time. You can... Uh, you can do like a dessert on top. You can do green beans. You can do potatoes of some kind, then some kind of meat. Um, that's the stack cooker. And then we have the Micro Pro Grill, which is the silver and navy blue um, thing we use a lot for hamburgers, pork chops, Micro Pro Grill. It was on sale last month, um, but we use it a lot and it saves time. And we put meatloaf in and everything. And we use it. Anything you put in a skillet or put in a in a casserole dish you can put in your micro pro grill we found including cornbread yeah it makes delicious cornbread i made the onion cornbread in it once it's delicious i think it was better in the micro pro grill than it was even in the iron skillet now the regular cornbread uh, we just use our our onion our micro our, our, old, our old cast iron but now the um Onion was good in that, wasn't it, Mama? Yeah. We really liked it in it. So, that is that. Anybody else got any questions? John, why are you not helping pick beans? You can still yak while you... <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, are you working for Mama? <laughs> yeah. I was doing it with one hand, Sarah. Sarah, that's good. How much good. more dedicated? She's my friend right there. Sarah, Mama don't need any help. <laughs> That's my friend. Right I now. will, sir. Just as soon as you, it's just as soon as we clear off from here, but I will. I will. Nice to be able to see you. Well, thank you, Deborah. Same here, Nancy says. Love it. Uh, what are peanut beans and need it? Right there. Here they are. Let's show you again. So this is what we serve all the time. This. Mama cans every once in a while. Here's the vine full of them. Now picture that vine upside down. It grows. It's a bush bean. That's as tall as it gets. It's not a big old. We don't put uh, cat willow canes up or anything for this. We put these just grow about three I feet put tall. Railing up we put up an old. Um, what Mama uses is an old handrail that used to be on the front porch. It was a wrought iron handrail. Keeps them from falling over, and that keeps them from falling over, and kind of separates them out. But this is a peanut bean, and here they are. There's those pink ones in there, them red ones. The real red ones probably have the shell. You can tell when you start to break them if they don't break good and snap. If they're rubbery, you know. When they're red, see if I can do this one hand, Sarah. Now that one will break, so he's pretty good. He's not rubbery. He's not too tough. Um, but now sometimes the red ones, you just you can't break them. They're just like rubber. But then I see that one needs to be strung before it's broke. But that's a peanut bee. But now when you count them, you'll get green ones and red ones. And they're delicious. Your daddy likes for them to get red or and to make shellies out of them. He liked more beans than he did. He it, it's an heirloom bean. It's it's an old-fashioned bean. Some of our seeds go back years and years and years because my uncle always saved them, and he saved them from mom and his dad. Uh, so they're an heirloom bean. It takes... I'll take those. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, but that is the peanut bean that we're always talking about. Um, and it's the only one mama cans it in. Yeah, anymore. I don't care. We don't care anything but these. Uh, looking good, Mama. Poor Mama is tired and dirty. Like <laughs> yeah, King Gardener. She is tired and dirty today. She ain't really that tired because we've been out prowling around today. We She just started this mess while ago. She might be tired from... But this ain't been all their project. This just started. No. And it don't take long to jerk them up out of the ground and throw them in the wheelbarrow. That wasn't what takes long. Right here's what takes long. It's going through each one, picking and pulling and separating out. 
That's Mama's garden pants, ain't they pretty? Look, they're wore out. Can't get rid of them. Mm -mm. I had to retire one pair last year. <laughs> they was beyond hell. It's from Tupperware. Oh, this big blue bow? Yeah. They have them in all colors. This is just the blue one. It's red. I think this is 42, 42 quarts. 42 cups. Cups. You can't see on the bottom, but it's a big old bow. This is a part of the that's bow. And it's a big old bow, but it's perfect for this kind of thing. It's also perfect for gathering tomatoes and cucumbers and squash and all that stuff in. And them red bowls, I've done set out two of the red bowls, which is to wash them in. under them to break them up, wash them in. Mm -hmm. So this will be what we may not, you gonna cook tonight, Mom? No, we? we're gonna eat a sandwich because I'm, <laughs> I'm sticking with these till I get them done. So if we come back on, expect more of the same, we'll just be in there breaking them then. But um, we went today to Riverside, we got some cold cuts. And I knew when we was going to get cold cuts, it was probably be on a sandwich run. run because it's been time. I've got to pick these up and break them and I'll pour a cannon and I'll put them in the refrigerator and can them Monday morning. But I want to get enough for us a mess tomorrow for Sunday dinner. It, um, when I was a kid, we always had to do with corn time. Dad would say, you know we can't, it's time for corn. Uh, it's time for corn. And in the summer, it was like, we can't go nowhere, we got hay to get in. Well, we've got corn tomorrow night, right? Yeah, we got corn to tend to. It's corn time. So we've always lived around some vegetable and with mama. <laughs> yeah, some work. <laughs> My dad always made sure that vacation time we were tied up because he didn't want to go nowhere. And I used to think, how weird. He is so weird. Why would he want to go to the beach? Why would he want to go somewhere? And now I'm getting older. I guess I'm about his age as he was back when he didn't want to do nothing. And I'm thinking, shoot, I can't do nothing either. I ain't going nowhere. Hello from St. Paul, Virginia. Hello. Mom, was you in St. Paul this week? No. We went through a portion of Virginia going to Gettysburg. Okay, Jennifer, these are not a half pink half runners. No. Now, not. they'll tell you that at the co-op and other places. There is a pink half runner. These are peanut beans. There's these a, are called a bush bean. Bush bean. Pink half, pink half runners are um, a running bean. They'll run. And they're they a bigger bean than these. And they're easier to work with. So peanut beans are their own little thing. Now, you, I've been told by many people at co-ops, mayos, different places, oh, yeah, we have pink heifer. No, I don't want pink heifers. I want peanut beans. Well, they're the same thing. No, sir, they're not. Uh, so we didn't, we didn't, we planted them last year. Somebody sent us some pink heifer runners. No, they were two totally different beans. They cook and taste different. They're different, different beans. Is it not hot in that garage? Well, Kimberly, I think it is. Mama thinks it's just perfect, but we have this still on. Yeah. It's not sweltering. And this garage is well insulated. Like in the winter, I, it's never been below 50 in here. I had it double insulated when we built it. Uh, I said I want plenty of insulation, and it does keep a lot of the heat out. Now, if we're going to be out here canning, because we do, this is Mama's canning kitchen um, over here behind me. We're out here cooking or using the kitchen out here. We open the doors and it's for a cookout or a get together. Welcome home, Mama. How was your trip? It was good, Jay. Wonderful. She had I a really good time. Hi, Jonah. Mama, I haven't seen you all in two weeks. I have missed you all so much. Vicki, you're the. I had a person today when we was at the store. She said, I haven't seen you all in a while. We are, I have been on every day. Um, I've been on, even when Mama wasn't here, I even cooked and everything, but go to our page and hit notification and make sure you're notified, even if it was once before. Um, if you don't interact with the page much, then that's the, um, that's the reason you don't get the notifications when we do come on. But normally, anytime between six to 8 o'clock at night, you'll find us on here somewhere. Sometimes earlier, 
Uh, I know today it's 445, so this is a Saturday. But through the week, we're usually on here for supper time. Uh, and on Saturday, it might be breakfast, it might be lunch, it might be supper, and it might be all three. Uh, so we are just we just pop in and out on Saturdays a lot of time. But we are on here, and you can go back and catch up on our videos on our page. This, yeah, Greta, you probably have the black and orange one. We have a black and orange one. Mama got it for Halloween candy. Oh, yeah, I've got the... Now, the orange one is splatter and not hardly as deep and big as the, this one. Mama, what kind of roast did you cook last Sunday? Cynthia wants to know. It was a sirloin tip roast. Sirloin tip roast. And what That's seasoning? What on special. Well, Cynthia, the seasoning, she put it in the crock pot and she put about 16, 18 ounces. Well, of I first put it in an orange skillet and browned it with salt and pepper on it. She seared it on all sides with salt and pepper, she said. And that makes your brown gravy because you pour your water in that skillet and it brings all up that brownness. And then I just put uh, salt, I mean the onions in the crock pot, cut up an onion and laid my steak in there and uh, poured my coffee water and what I got off the skillet over the steak. The mama, you said that I like coffee water. You put about 16 or 18 ounces of Coffee, coffee and in the water where I uh, cleaned out my skillet, I pour it in there because that's what. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Sometimes, Mom, <laughs> sometimes Mama says stuff, and I'm like, uh, when she says she cleaned out the skillet, <laughs> it wasn't the dishwater either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Mama, they don't know sometimes how you clean out your skillet. So, where'd she brown that meat? She put a little bit of hot water, probably what six a ounces, or so. about six or eight ounces of of clean water, and let it boil, and that will bring up all that goody off the bottom of that skillet, and then she poured that water in there on top of it as well. But it was like she was cleaning out, <laughs> and I poured the coffee over it, and the coffee. So it was just the brown goody off the bottom of the skillet with just clean water. About six or eight ounces of water to clean that skillet. And that makes your gravy good. Yes. Brown. And then you cooked it for what, four or five hours? I cooked it what time we was going to church. And then what did you put on after that? You put y'all's uh, Southern Secret. Yeah. And, and uh, that was it. That was it. So, yeah, that was it. <laughs> Mama said, I put the water in it after I cleaned up the skillet. Not Clean in the dishwater. Out. Hey, good folks. Hey, Howard, how are you? I've never had a peanut bean. Do they taste like regular green beans? No. Barbara, they do taste like a green bean, except they're so much better than a green bean. They don't taste... They're, they're kind of between a green bean and a shuck bean. It's what I sort of say. If you've ever had granny shuck beans that were dried and then reconstituted with what... Those old shuck beans is what these taste a whole lot like. A lot of people will eat these and they'll ask, are these shuck beans or did you dry these beans yourself? Uh, but that is the green bean. They taste, and we put a little bacon grease in them, of course. And salt. And salt. Good afternoon from Minnesota. Hey, Carmen, how are you? Would be quicker work if Mama had a helping hand. <laughs> Boy, Mary. <laughs> I've been helping. Mama, tell him I've been helping. He's been helping. I'm just filming right now. I'm going to get off here then. Everybody wants me to help. How are you doing? Keeps freezing up. Uh-oh. hope it's not freezing up. Do peanut beans taste like pinto beans? No. No, no, no. No, they don't taste like pinto beans. They taste like a, a shuck bean, a dried bean. They taste a little. You'll just have to experience them. They're very, very good. Yeah, when I'm not holding the phone, if you don't believe, Jennifer, this, uh, you're right. Trying to do this one-handed is almost impossible, and I'm afraid I'll break the bean. Mama is world traveler and likes it. Jennifer, she keeps on keeping them. Boy, is she ever, Susan. A little hard work won't hurt you. No, it won't. Boiled peanuts in salted water. 
No, we don't taste nothing like boiled peanuts. Ooh. No, I don't like boiled peanuts. She can pick the beans and you can make the sandwich. <laughs> uh, what do peanut beans taste like? They're like an old-timey shuck. If I had to say, they're like a shuck bean. Uh, like when you dry your beans and then put them in a, in, in bring them back to life with water. They ain't a bright green bean when they're cooked or when you fix them. They're now, they're a dark bean. A dark bean. Brown. We'll show you again, but we that's what we have every time we sit down to eat green beans. Yeah, because I quit. Are the bush beans mixed with green beans in the cans? This is a bush bean, and it is a green bean. It's not the Canyon Company bush. It's not bush. It's not. No, no, no. It's not bush company. It's. This it's, is just what they it's call. It's a bush. It stays to the ground instead of running up stuff. It, it just. They stops come. growing. The vines don't don't travel. All right, folks. I think I may be confusing y'all with with answers here. It is a green bean. It is a it's a tasty bean. It's more like a dried bean that Granny might have dried years ago. Shuck beans, yes. Uh, Charlene, that's what they taste like. Thank you, Robert, for the hearts. Come back. Okay. I hope all these old dead leaves. Looks like work to me. It's 100 degrees in Fort Worth. Okay. It is work. Can we see her canning kitchen? Sharon, we'll, we'll show you the canning kitchen sometimes when we're out here using it. Um, hello, hello. 98 degrees in Shreveport, Louisiana. Ooh. You're hotter than we are. We're not quite that hot, but we're in the 80s today. Do you have to pull the whole vine to harvest peanut beans? No. Kind of, you don't have to, but it's just easier. And uh, if you think that your vines are in good shape, you're going to get a second growth off of them. Your second growth will be about a fourth of your first growth. So you want to make sure that, you know. If you, it's got little bitty beans on it and they're good, green, healthy vines, then leave them, pick them. Right. But if they're already in the shape that some of these are in, it's not worth it. Just go ahead and. You're not going to get very many on that second no. harvest. For the bending of your back and stooping and doing it, I believe me, I'd rather pull the vines. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use two hands. I don't have a tripod out here, and I'm trying to keep it. Mama's gonna, Mama's gonna get me. So y'all gonna get me in trouble. They're gonna get you for I will. So. I know they don't think I do anything, Mama. They don't think I. They don't think I help you, Mama. What about that? I help you as much as you'll let me, don't I? Yeah. You're a pretty good helper. A pretty good helper. Now, that's that's good coming from Mama. And sometimes you just do something all by yourself. All by myself. Yeah. Just do it, don't I? Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. All right, folks, we're going to go. We're going to say... Um, goodbye for now. I don't know if we'll be back tonight or not, but probably we will. Not. Mama says probably not, as in you got too much work to do. Yeah. Um, we'll uh, cook us a mess tomorrow and I'll try to, I won't can tomorrow, but I will uh, can some Monday. Mm -hmm. So I'll, uh, if I get enough to can, we will. I don't like for you to can when I'm here. You're going to do it Monday evening? Well, the fellers are here. Oh. Uh, Okay, you'll have people here to watch after me, so. To tell you when to stop. So I'm hoping to get enough of canning by pints because it's not as much waste in the long run. So that's what I plan on doing. And well, I, I figured out if I push these up against this wheelbarrow, I can pull them off here with one hand. Oh, wow. Look, I could have had productivity going. All right, folks, we're going to say goodbye. Mom, say goodnight. Good night, Mom, and God bless you. So have a wonderful night and day tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a great Bye -bye. one. Bye-bye.